Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia! Since last time I backtracked all the way to the save point, I used one of the mana crystals, I gained a level on the way back, I was almost at another level anyway, so I figured, eh, we'll just finish that one off, and here we arrive at the Shrine of the Silver Monkey! Wow, that reference actually makes sense this time around. Uh-oh! It's the Black Chronicle at last! Wow, it looks just like the White Chronicle, except, well, they changed the colors on it. It looks more like a Purple Chronicle to me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Why do they always use purple for black? One of these things is not like the other. For boss time! This guy is weak to fire! So we want to put that to use. First things first, we want to use Magic Boost on Ot there to boost the power of her traps and finally get to use one of those star traps. Nuts! He poisoned me! Well, we're gonna make it, so first things first, let's use our new flame star trap. Deals a lot more damage than a bomb trap. You can lay two traps in one turn. So that's pretty nice, but you gotta put it like in the middle somewhere. Otherwise, if you put it at the top, you'll only get the one trap there. So, you gotta watch out for that. But anyway, lay the flame star trap, push, right assault, that should do pretty good for us. And don't worry about the poison. Wow! Look at that damage! Holy cow! At the Boss Destroyer! Well, of course the six-year-old is the Boss Destroyer. What did you expect? Ah. So he really is? Or maybe he's just another servant of him. Why would the wielder of the Black Chronicle give the Black Chronicle to one of his servants? Maybe he just controls the power or something. I don't know. Well, anyway. Well. Oh. Well, that's it. Well, that was a pretty easy boss fight. Well, there we go. Uh, let's, yeah, want to heal up after that one. Well, it wasn't that easy. I mean, he almost killed me there. Poison can be pretty devastating if you let him live long enough. Or if you don't have the flame star traps. But anyone can have that by now. All right. Well, of course, this is a JRPG. What did you expect? Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good at all. Good at all. Better not be a giant spider. Damn it! All right, now this guy is not a pushover. Not as hard as the mist spider, but still. Ow! I don't want to chance it. We're going to use Turn Break. He can deal like 300 damage to one character with his physical attack. So first things first, you want to get nine consecutive turns in a row. Use a Magic Herb on... Oh, you know what? She got poisoned. Nah, nah, she won't die. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. You have Stock. Use a Magic Herb on Aruka there. And this is pretty much going to be my strategy for the remainder of the game. Let's use Dancing Death. It hits an enemy several times to boost the chain bonus, or combo bonus there. But basically, this is how you're going to defeat bosses for pretty much the remainder of the game. Drive the combo bonus way up with abilities like Dancing Death or Marco's Spin Strike, and there's other abilities that we'll get eventually. Alternate with a Magic Spell, and then use your last three turns with G-Frost, and you'll deal massive damage with that so doesn't dancing death does not deal a whole lot of damage on its own but you see how much look at how many hits she deals with that so that'll really help out the damage for aruka's g frost there yeah that's pretty good for unfortunately stock does not get such an ability like that yeah holy cow and that's pretty much how you deal with bosses in this game now, if you don't have those abilities, that boss will be immensely harder. But I do. So, yeah, turn break. Yeah, it's pretty obscenely powerful. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have turn break, holy cow. That guy will totally house you. Oh, well, there we go. Too bad we couldn't get that guy with the Black Chronicle. Oh well. What does he look like, a waiter? 
So what is the beast mark, anyway? I mean, I guess we got it, but... Well, whatever. The statue even looks like a monkey. It's like the silver monkey statue that you had to put together, except, well, they already put it together. To release traps. We had to get past temple guards and everything. Well, actually, uh, yeah, 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 we'll help you out. Or you could just not cooperate. No, of course not. Besides the wielder of the Black Chronicle, who seemed to be able to get in there quite easily. Sounds like a plan. So, we basically just murdered a whole bunch of their best warriors, and they instantly trust us! Well, there you go. Well, I suppose it's better than Chrono Cross, where they instantly believe my story, with no proof at all whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Well, that might be a good idea. I have to think about this one carefully. Well, he's had plenty of time already. I have to think... Er... Oh, we're not going to think about this carefully? Oh, I thought we were going to get another uh, critical decision point. Well, there you go. Huh. Well, that was easy. Now, we could head back to Historia, but... Nah, let's just move on with the plot for right now. Yeah, yeah, we can move along. That, that's just fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we got the critical decision point. Well, last time we tried staying behind with Garland, that didn't work work out so well for us. So, surely leading the way is the right answer. Just the three of us. We got in and out the first time safe and sound. So, yeah, absolutely. And we were fighting Grenorg the last time, too. They had a full force and everything. So, sounds like a plan. Let's do it! Well, what's with the ominous music? Well, you can take him stock. Catfish's maw? No, no, that's another game. Can't you just turn invisible? Or maybe you ran out of MP. That's... Damn it, Marco and Rainy! You guys are useless! Yeah, they actually are pretty useless at this point in the game. Oh well. They would they probably wouldn't be so useless if I got all the if I didn't get all the side quest abilities for At and Aruka, but oh well. Eh, they're still okay, but. Eh. Well, it was going all according to plan. Nuts. How do you put an entire army in a castle and not notice it? Oops. I was going to make a joke about that, but uh, no, no, I'll, I'll bite my tongue on that. Yeah, that's true. Well, of course not. That's the whole idea of time travel. Hmm. Maybe they backed out at the last second, or he couldn't get all the help that we wanted for this invasion. I put all my faith in them! I expected them to back me up, and they didn't show up! Oh well. By the way, now that we have the beast mark, we could resolve the roadblock in the other timeline, but I'm going to save that for later. I want to wrap things up here first. And also, when you go to Historia after getting the Beast Mark, you can get your third and final Mana Burst ability. Unfortunately, none of them are really that good. Oh well. They're basically all, at least to my knowledge, all the ones that I've seen are pretty much like Omni Slash abilities. They do deal a lot of damage and they drive up the combo bonus quite a bit, but uh, 
Turn Break is just so much more obscene against bosses, because that's pretty much the only time you really need to use Mana Burst. So, hmm, I'm generally not a fan of them. The only one I would even really think about using is Rainies, because that use that deals a lot of hits. But, but before heading back to that decision, let's go teach that new ability to uh, Aruka, because uh, remember we found that new pact for her? So, let's go put that to use. As long as we got a moment, we can go back to the plot at any time. I find it odd that Ott is the only one that can see those Historia guys, but not Aruka. Well, there we go. I mean, Aruka has the power of mana, but let's check out that new ability that we got for her. I don't know what it does. I never use it. Where is it? Um, that's Divine Light. Uh, Holy Light, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, that would explain why I never use it. I don't die, or I don't have my other characters die. If you get to a point where you, where that ability would be useful, you're probably almost dead anyway. So, eh, I never use it. But anyway, yeah, let's try that decision again there. And bring At and Aruka into my party. Well, not that I need them, but, well, they're there. Okay, I guess we'll just sit on our ass and not get involved. Yeah, yeah, let's let's wait around for them this time. Maybe we can get Gothka to join us in this timeline. Why not? What about the Cygnus? I thought they were supposed to be getting involved, too. Well, sounds like a plan. Why not? What, well, wasn't before? Oh, I suppose so. Surely this must be the right option, too. Well, what, what's going on? Nuts. Well, what happened? We can't get in. I never noticed this was a gate until just now. I mean, I noticed that when I played it previously, but like until this point in the game, the first time it was like, oh yeah, this is a gate. They could just lock it. Just lock the doors. But anyway, if you didn't do events correctly up to now, you can't do this. What you're supposed to do at this point, if you didn't do everything, is you have to rescue Claire back in the sewers in Chapter 2, like I showed you, and you have to give the Sand Sword to Will. You don't have to go through those two optional nodes that I showed you, but you do have to give the Sand Sword to him, and if you did both of those things, then you can get past this roadblock. Oh, you also, once you rescue Claire, you have to go through the Pierre's Betrayal node again to unlock the other node from it, where he survives. You have to go through that, too. So there's three things you got to do. But, like I said, I mean, I did the Pierre's Betrayal node, but I didn't, I backtracked and undid giving the sword to Will, so that way I can show you the roadblock here, because otherwise you wouldn't get this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back off screen, give the sword to Will, I'll unlock all the nodes and do all that off screen, and then we'll come back and we'll try this again. But yeah, Ott seems to be the only one who uh, sees those two for some reason. But will saving the Resistance members help us out at all in this battle? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!